Turner syndrome, also called as gonadal dysgenesis or uh, ovarian dysgenesis. The name itself suggests that there will be abnormal development of gonads. Turner syndrome is the most common cause of primary amenorrhea and also the most common chromosomal anomaly observed in fetuses. The chromosomal pattern of this condition is 45X0 that means one X chromosome is missing in this condition. Several cells of the body of various parts will be lacking this single X chromosome which will result in various manifestations in various parts of the body. The incidence of Turner syndrome is 1 in 2 to 5000 live female births. The etiology of this condition is purely genetical. And one more thing is 99% of fetuses with Turner syndrome get aborted in uterus it itself and only 1% will be born. So 99% of the fetuses with Turner syndrome will be aborted in uterus itself. Here is the chromosomal pattern of Turner syndrome. So these are the 23 sets of chromosomes, 23 pairs of chromosomes. But if you observe the 23rd set, one X chromosome is missing in this condition. Only one X chromosome is present and another X chromosome is absent. So with this uh, picture, you can confirm it as Turner syndrome. As I told you, the genetical pattern of this condition is 45X0, so there is no Y chromosome in it, so the genital ridge will not be converted into testes, rather it will get converted into ovaries. So the, gen the, so the gonads in this condition are ovaries as all females and the external genitalia like labia majora, labia minora and the clitoris are normal and the internal genitalia like vagina, uterus, cervix and fallopian tubes are normal in Turner syndrome. But the problem is with ovaries. The ovaries are normal until the baby was born but what happens after that is the follicles in the ovary will get destroyed by apoptosis that will result in fibrotic ovaries which were also called as streak ovaries or streak gonads. So the follicles will get destroyed and the ovaries will become fibrotic. So these fibrotic ovaries cannot produce ovum. So there will be no ovulation, no menstruation and even these ovaries cannot produce sufficient amounts of estrogen and progesterone. So the secondary sexual characters like uh, development of breast is abnormal as the ovaries cannot produce estrogen and progesterone and even the axillary and pubic hair are scanty. So these ovaries cannot produce estrogen and progesterone so there will be no endometrial growth and shedding there is no menstruation and that is primary amenorrhea and these ovaries even do not produce ovum so there will be no fertilization taking place which is the reason for infertility so these are the main problems in reproductive system in those who are affected with Turner syndrome the phenotype or the physical appearance the patients with Turner syndrome will be having webbing of neck you can observe it in this picture this is called as webbing, webbing of neck and they they will be even having low set ears and low set hairline that means the ears were placed very close to the thorax that means they were placed very low and even the hair growth is very nearer or is towards the lower part of the neck that means kept low so these are low set ears and low set hairline and even they will be having broad chest and widely placed nipples and swollen foot and some in some cases even the hands will be swollen and they will suffer from short stature so these are the basic physical appearance of the patients with Turner syndrome 
Along with the reproductive manifestations, we can also see cardiac manifestations like coactation of iota which can be seen in 5-10% to of cases of Turner syndrome and even bicuspid aortic wall, aortic dissection and in some cases aortic rupture can be seen. And the skeletal manifestations like osteoporosis and scoliosis might be observed. Osteoporosis is mainly because the ovaries are non-functional, they will not produce estrogen. As estrogen is essential for bone mineralization, so here the estrogen is deficient, so bone mineralization will be abnormal. So that will result in osteoporosis and even in even even leads to bone fractures and even scoliosis can be observed in these patients and the renal anomalies like horseshoe kidney and other anomalies like sensory neural hearing loss diabetes mellitus and hypertension will be observed in patients with turner syndrome we can diagnose turner syndrome using amniocentesis and chorionic villus sampling during pregnancy and the ultrasonography shows some structural or developmental abnormalities and the hormonal profile, the, as I told you, estrogen and progesterone will be decreased. So, due to negative feedback, the FSH and LH will be increased. The treatment to attain menstruation, we will give estrogen and progesterone to the patient. And for infertility, she can get conceived with the help of donor's oocytes, but not her own oocytes. So that is the uh, treatment part what we can do to these patients or in vitro fertilization can be done in these patients. So thank you very much.